In the fourth grade, the most difficult academic skills for students to master is long division. Many fourth graders have difficulty making the transition from doing short division problems to long division problems. Long division contains many steps such as dividing, subtracting with and without borrowing, adding with and without carrying, dealing with remainders, and multiplying when checking the answers. Most students understand the basic rules of long division, but when it comes time to do the problems, they tend to make careless errors and forget steps. They need a model where they are able to work out problems and are able to hear the steps done over and over by the teacher. This is a thorough model of instruction that is needed to help these fourth graders master long division skills. I have chosen to begin teaching long division using a lesson plan that illustrates the cognitive apprenticeship approach. When introducing long division to my students, I will model and explain the process of long division first before giving actual individual problems. Scaffolding will be provided as students work through their problems that they can solve without assistance. The support needs to be removed slowly until the student can accomplish the task independently. The first step of this lesson was for me to actually model how to do a long division problem. I did this many times over and over. As I worked out each step of the problem, I discussed each step in detail so that my students understood my thought processes. I taught many different types of long division problems so that my students could see an example of how to solve each type of problem. While working out each problem, I went through each step and asked questions of my students to keep them involved. Once I felt that my students grasped the skill of solving long division problems, I had them come up to the board, create a division problem of their own, and model for us, the entire class, how they actually solved the problem. Casey, choose a problem for Haley to solve. 150 divided by 5. Well, how many times does 5 go into 1? You can't do that. So, so how, many, how, how many does 5 go into 15? 3. So you take the 3 up there, and 3 times 5 equals 15. So you do 15 there. And 15 minus 15 is 0, and you bring down the 0, and then you put the 0 up here. You put the 0 up there because 5 goes into 0 how many times? 5 goes in 0, 0 times. Perfect. Next, I had students work in small groups of 2 to 3. Each student would create a long division problem for another student in their group to solve. Each student would then explain to the other students out loud how they were actually solving the problem, while they were solving it. I found that introducing long division using a lesson based on the cognitive apprenticeship theory worked well, but after continuously solving long division problems over and over, while at the same time explaining the process of how the students came to get the answer they got, it became very boring to my class. I decided to take my students' understanding of long division to another level and introduced an online long division game to my students. The introduction of this game really excited my class. With this game, I'm still utilizing the cognitive apprenticeship theory, but have introduced more of a constructive approach, which allowed my students to challenge and guide their thinking in a more complete and engaging way. Once I feel that my students have a good understanding about the topic being taught, and they are able to show me what they have learned, I feel that it's very important to introduce my students to the more engaging, motivating exploration phase to reinforce what is being taught. My students are taking the information they have learned from me and applying it to what they already know, in which in this case was how to solve problems, but it's just in a much more engaging and fun way.